Hey guys, Rich here. Um, just making a quick guide, really, or a quick video. Is it a guide or a video? I don't fucking know. But nonetheless, it's going to be giving you a couple of hints, tips, and tricks as to how, well, telling you the most efficient ways to farm your Necropolis Caretakers rep for that um, for that nice shiny Arachnid mount. I'm um, I'm not. I haven't actually got the mount myself, but I'm getting there very quickly through this method that I've got. Uh, and I've been told about through others and I just thought that the the methods weren't really widely used so I just thought I'd throw it out there on the YouTube and uh, hopefully you guys will appreciate it but basically um, there's several ways that you can farm Necropolis Caretaker Rep now obviously if you start your questing chain for your story quests in uh, Palendine, then you'll go on to Ceratos. Uh, as soon as you hit Ceratos, the quests will grant you Necropolis Caretaker's rep. Now, what this means is that straight through from Ceratos, then you'll go through the story all the way to Morban and then to Infinity Steps. All of them quests on the story will grant you Necropolis Caretaker's rep, and that is why. If you are level 50 and you've just started leveling, that I recommend that you start leveling or start questing in Palendine. Second of all, if you are level 60 and you're wanting to raise your reputation, you should be leveling, sorry, leveling your reputation, rep you know what I mean, gathering your reputation, then you should be definitely doing carnages in them three zones, so Ceratos, Morban, and Infinity Steps. However, if you are leveling, I don't recommend that you complete the carnages for the XP because the XP is what 20k 25k when you're getting pff, fucking what 40 to 60k a quest personally in my opinion I don't think the XP return is worth the time I think it's best to hit level 60 get your gear then when you start hitting hard go back and farm the mobs that are a lower level you complete the carnages in about two minutes a pop so you'll be getting what you get about 200 necropolis caretaker rep standard set amount per carnage that you complete uh, with the notoriety var you can be getting a lot more than that 40% uh, to 8% or 20 if you're a cheapskate <laughs> nah, um, but obviously if you're a patron you hit P then you go down to your patron abilities and you got your 40% or you could you know buy an 8% or maybe a 20 if you got a spare credit you know but um, yeah that's that so I'd recommend as I say just going back uh, level 60 and obviously in Ceratos level 55 mobs I think they are you'll be practically one shotting them and uh, completing carnages in seconds thirdly do your dailies in all the three zones I'd personally say your best bet is to do your um, obviously you get infinity stones from infinity steps so do your your dailies and all your quests there you'll even get little uh, quests popping up on the map if you check them wow basically <laughs> making a fucking video i just told the guy right this is my best mate who's invited me by the way uh, i'll give him a shout out my nab on uh on Galid Rashad. but <laughs> just told him i was making a video if he's doing it to tickle my nuts or something but anyway I've completely gone off track now because of him. Um, she, go to yeah, go to Infinity Steps, get your Infinity Stones from your Carnages and whatnot, and your dailies. Every as I say, every quest will grant you Necropolis Caretaker Rep. Some I think uh, your Carnages grant you 200, and then your quests can grant up to like four to five hundred. So obviously you want to be prioritizing them above your Carnages, but depending on the length of uh, the quest uh, it's down to your determination really but yeah um, another tip when you're doing your carnages you want to be stacking I'll show you some footage of this in a second but you want to be stacking your carnages to 10 on your quests uh, where you accept the quest where you finish the quest and you accept it um, you want to be stacking them to 10 popping a notoriety vial and then accepting or completing them because then you have more time you'll get more time rather than wasting uh, part time part up time so yeah that's uh, that's another tip there's also an add-on called carnage book 
and what you do is once you've downloaded it I think it's off Rift Curse I'll uh, add the link in the description below but once you've uh, activated it if you type slash carnage and then uh, whatever zone you're in so say Ceratos if you put slash carnage space Ceratos it'll tell you exactly what part of the map you have carnages in and also how many you've completed or in progress of or haven't even started and that is a really it's a really effective tool for farming that rep again and I believe that is pretty much it I'll put it this way to you guys I've I've been getting about 10k in a in a couple of hours rep and it's it's really quick really quick to be fair and I recommend you know I recommend that you um you follow them steps that I've just given you and then you'll be you'll be revered and have the mount or glorified or whatever in no time um so yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna go see what he wants and then well I'm gonna go and crack on with some more carnages myself and uh, hopefully by the time I've posted my next riff related video I'll have that mount so you can all see really how quick it is uh, and yeah uh, thanks for watching if there's anything additional I'll throw in an end message of this video but yeah thank you very much and out of a dodgy yeah oh also be sure to uh, check out our prank calls on the main channel and yeah that's pretty much it make sure that you share our, share our videos if you think they're good and uh, worth a bit of publicity uh, it'd be really appreciated if you could get them prank calls out there if you think they're any good and yeah thanks for watching and good luck with everything that you do uh, peace <laughs>